Alright guys, welcome back to Deathmatch World Cup 5, and we've got coming here on the blue trunks as the Mayans. As opponent today, Legend as the Koreans in the red trunks. It's a lot of early castles here from our players, especially coming this time. Well, it was Legend who last game was really focusing on lots of early castles, and things have switched here. Well, I suppose he wants to go for um, plumed archers while Legend is mostly happy just massing up champions for the minute and slowly adding war wagons behind that I suppose because I mean he is Koreans so it'd be handy to have the castles even getting a defensive tower at home. This might be quite handy and actually Slowing down this Eagle Warrior harass. The legend. Quite passive with the villagers there because he did keep them all garrisoned up rather than evacuating them instantly for more build time, but at the same time, keeps them very safe and secure. And it's really only Cummings' first chance at actually sniping one there. Warriors being massed up by coming. Oh, Legend defending quite well through this and starting to mass up a good number of champions. These guys can actually fend off the Eagle Warriors quite well, especially with a few defensive towers actually. It's a bit unusual, but at the same time, they build quite quickly. So coming, going into that with a much larger army and actually not fighting all of Legend's army at once, actually able to trade reasonably with it. I mean, the Eagle Warriors still are quite strong. Okay, they're actually slightly tankier. In terms of health, less armor and less damage. Though, so I think the champions you know, same value on a maxed army, I think they will actually win there, especially because two-handed swordsmen. Although, with mine, Bloomed Archers in the support here, it might be quite strong. I was going to check and see if they had any infantry bonus, seems that they really don't. Someone with my game knowledge can't really tell you whether or not one of them has better text than the other, in terms of Armory, sorry guys. I'm too noob for that. Yeah. These plume are going to get singled out here. There's another mass of them. These guys are quite fast. So Onig is being massed up here by Legend. He's even banking up a couple of them. Workshop in hiding. He's going to get some good shots there on coming initially. Oh yeah, champions ultimately. How to fight against Eagle Warrior Horseman, uh, sorry, Two-Handed Swordsman quite well. Ooh, and there's a bit of splash damage, but most of that actually lands on that hall of Bloomed Archers. They don't actually have the health, quite as much health as the champions. At least slightly less, though. That's a nice shot there. Looks like Legend's already established... Oh, Cummings already establishing his trade. Legend starting to establish his as well, but... Rough wood line there for him. If it was slightly further forward, it'd be great. And it looks like Cummings actually going to start trying to work away at his wood line. I mean, at his trade line. So he does have a castle there already. Legend pushing out with an impressive force now though. Eco-wise, Cummings really got a lot more vil so far, but Legend's actually got a good TC count here as well, so he'll be able to catch up. But he is taking out one of these town centers right now. That 
TC's still alive, but it is low enough that even if you, you can't actually garrison Vils in it, you'd have to repair it first. So, Legend's going to be able to castle creep through here quite effectively. He's forcing, I'm going to have to get a quick keep up so he can kill the Vils off easily. And this other castle is probably going to get built considering there's so much more in to support this now. So, the castle is actually going to get finished up here. There's Eagle Warriors. Now these guys are really handy because they are slightly faster. Then the champions can actually bait them into some of these shots there. Like you see, a bit of friendly fire. They do deal quite good damage to the siege. Legend. That's an impressive force behind this. He goes slightly smaller than coming, so the population disparity doesn't necessarily mean that he's got a hugely smaller force. Like, look at his army size. He's got a lot to actually take this fight. The Eagle Warriors again are going to engage on undefended Onigas because the champions are all further back. Ooh, and Legend's going to bit of splash to his own units there. So rather than try and engage with the champions and just disengage with the Onigas, he sort of did their reverse there. I don't know if it really worked out for him. He goes again, still starting to favour. Coming for the long haul here because he's actually going to be able to defend this third market. So this will really defend, this will really impact Legend's ability to actually Go for full map trade and just boom. With shitloads of infinite late game gold. And play this with, uh, you know, an eco like team games or age of mythology or something like that where gold isn't just going to run out. While here for Legend, he's not really going to be able to utilize that at all. In fact, he's actually going to have to use this market, build some markets up here or something in order to trade in the meanwhile until he gets this area back but I don't know if Humming's going to let him hold on that long because he's got an impressive mass up here behind this but that's a nice shot with the uh, Onigas a few more of them being taken down like look at that Onigas Humming's Trying to move forward with some of his own, but he does lose four of them for nothing there. So Legend, that used to the Siege on, I guess. And he's going to switch to some War Wagons as well. He's going to try and focus down the castle, but it is going to get picked off. Fortunately for Legend here. Well, on the other side of his base, he is not going to be able to pinch that relic. Impressive ram creep here. He should be able to take out this monastery, which will be pretty rough for Legend. He's actually going to have to quickly try and pick up these relics here and put them in another one or take them down ASAP. He's going to lose the monastery. But I think that was worthwhile for. Legend in the sense that the monastery is probably not as expensive as that many capped rams. This is really rough for uh, Legend until he can take this out and he's not there quite enough to fight that actually. So there is some war wagons now to back it up. And this is a nice raid here from coming, but Legend's got a great eco behind this. Is Work account is insane. I mean, his his uh, trader, his trade cart eco isn't all that great compared to Cummings, but his his village account's actually much better. And saying that Cummings has going to have the potential for a much larger army here when they're at similar populations. Now he's going to wipe out a little bit of that eco. 
so I quite have enough to actually take out the castle for the minute. Man, I like coming style the fact that he uses minimal uh, trebuchets and he's actually making this really work with rams. Legend to have to use his only just sparingly with good movement. That's a nice shot there. From Legend, he's cleaned up a lot of those plumed archers. Again, Cummings trying to harass the other side of his base. But he's going to be able to clean up a couple of these forward buildings and take out some of the villes who are in here building them. Onager versus Onager there. Huge clump. Really nice micro there coming. Well, this splash isn't really all this great for either player. Both of them are leaving a few units out of this, but this diminishing Siege Hunter account means that the uh, Blue Archers can really clean everything up like vultures. Getting a few more champion kills there. Now Legend can actually really start his eco, he's moving all of his trade carts once again, he's probably going to start just training a few more of them and again, once he can fit them in. I'm saying that he's going to try and hold off here, he might even need to bring these these war wagons back to help out this army, just leave the Onager there to take out the structures. Having some more forward siege workshops here, just to give his opponent something else to take out. Before he gets to the castle, he can also spam another high value unit that he still wants more of. This only is really getting the job done here for Legend at the moment. Looks like coming is going to go for some sort of forward tower on his opponent now. He's pushing up once again just to make sure that Legend's going to have as difficult time as possible just spotting this. But he is sending a lot of... Oh, he's just moving up some more wood gatherers because he's run out of lumber at home behind him, so he's got to always work on this centre wood line now. And then what's over here on that right side of the map. But it looks like Cummings still got plenty more wood and this towers should be able to accrue quite a bit of value. Force Legend to have to send something back to deal with it before long. Or he might even just have to make a trebuchet and send it across from the other side of his base, but it looks like Cummings going to get more towers and just work on that food eco, uh, that wood eco, because Legend's army, he's been spending a lot on these onagers and on structures. He's also getting plenty of farms to actually sustain his champion production, so top of that he's been trying to ramp up trade cart production too, so cutting through this wood eco, his opponent's going to be really handy here for coming. But at the same time, Legend is persistent and he's now got a few more trebs now, so he should be able to take out this castle and continue his push with his Onigas. This is a nice push with the Rams for coming, because he should be able to take out this castle and now trade line is going to be open once again. Coming desperately trying to repair the castle, but I think it's going to go down now. So will the trebuchet that was taking it out? Well, there's a lot of these eagle warriors inside. Legends base and these ramps should be able to take out the majority of these markets. Also more of these trading carts are going to be under threat once again. Legend going to move out and actually take out this forward monastery of coming so this earlier greed might actually really come back to haunt coming who's going to lose the gold generation of those two relics. He's going to have to replace the monastery, maybe even replace the monk. It takes quite a while for it to actually really pay for itself once again. But there's only a capped ram and there are some eagle warriors to clean this up by the looks of the thing. Oh, they're going to go straight past it. And 
the way. Legend gets a breathe of sigh of relief because now he's basically made that monastery useless. Now he's going to destroy it. But again, now with some more eagle warriors into the wood line. Legend's eco is really struggling and bill count still slightly favoring coming and bearing in mind he's just had much more consistent trade cog gathering through all this and GG legend tapping out here 